Welcome to another Quick and Burst. Here's a really cool geometry problem for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. The following figures, boom, 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 are composed of squares and circles. Which figure has the shaded region with the largest area, A, B, or C? Okay, okay. I kind of feel like I know what to do. We're told each figure is two centimeters wide, so I know the area of a square, I know the area of a circle, so maybe I can just know what to do here. In fact, I can just plug my way through each three diagram, work out those shaded areas, and just see which is the largest. So it sounds like strategy number seven to me, perseverance. Let's just persevere our way through this question. All right, so let's just go through them one at a time. A, what is the area of the shaded region of A? All right, well, it's definitely a square of side length two, so the area of the square is two times two, is four. So for A, the area is the whole square of four, take away the area of that circle. Uh, I guess I can see the area is, there's the circle has radius one. Uh, area of the circle is pi r squared, pi one squared, it's just pi. So square, take away circle, figure A has shaded area four minus pi. Great. Part B, okay, this one's more complicated. Uh, I guess I still have a square of area four. So the whole area is four. Take away the areas of four little circles. Four times pi radius squared. Now what are their radii? Hmm. Uh, okay, okay. A radius, a diameter I guess is one here. So I guess the radius is half of one is a half. So half squared is a quarter. So pi radius squared. Ooh, this is weird. Four minus four times pi times a quarter. Pi. That's the same area. What was the question? Which figure has the largest, has the re shaded region with the largest area? The first two are the same. Then I'm wondering about this third one. Is that also four minus pi? Well, I guess I can keep playing my way through it because I'm now feeling a little perturbed by this. Two answers are the same. Uh, let's keep going. Um, this time it has a big circle, take away the area of a square. Now what's the radius of that circle? Well, I guess I see the diameter is one, it is two, sorry, so the radius is one. So area C is pi one squared, take away the area of that inner square. Now I'm feeling nervous. What's the side length of that square? I mean, that side length is this, but that's shorter than two. Hmm. And I'm also a little bit worried. It looks like it has a different area. These are four minus pi, this is pi minus something. So how can I work out that side length of that square? All right, there is something to think about here. Um, all right, well, I can't see that length. Ah, that's the diameter of the circle. Just rotate, I can see it's diameter of the circle. So that's two as well. All right, I know the diameter of the square, the diagonal of the square is two. Maybe that's enough for me to work out the side length and actually get the area of that square. I'll get pi minus some number. Oh, then I want to know, is it bigger than four minus pi or large, large, smaller than four minus pi? All right. Perseverance, I think, is going to work. I will get a number. I can probably compare the numbers and get an answer. So this strategy feels good to me. Bit of work still, but maybe you should do the work. Try it out. Finish up part C for me. I'm actually curious about what this, this final number, number is here and how it compares to 4 minus pi. And when you get an answer, tell me which is the largest, and then look at the essay that goes with this video. Let's compare results. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.